the vista of speed, the, the, the aesthetic of speed, and that is captured in a cafe racer. Looks, noise, speed. Loud pipes and clip on bars. Low and noisy. It's got to be noisy. But the ideal is to have a very powerful engine, very light, nimble, but strong frame. And the, the performance you're looking for with a cafe racer is handy. A cafe racer for me is um, a dream bike, your own personal dream bike. Everyone's unique and individual. A British bike, a triumph. Loud, fast and low. You take the best components, for example, a Norton featherbed frame and a Triumph Bonneville engine, put them all together and um, customise it. It was the opening of the jet age, jet fighters, jet aircraft. Youngsters wanted to, to align themselves with speed. Lying across the bike, being part of the bike, and just putting the throttle back, really. Load of power in it, as much as you can squeeze out of it, and it's got a handle like it's on rails. Clip on handlebars, big alley tank, bump stop seat, noisy exhaust, British engine preferably. That's a calf racer. With that British beat music, the black leather jacket, and the Triton, it, it is something which I suspect will remain as um, an iconic moment, an iconic look, and an iconic sound for many, many years to come.